All right, let's do this thing. Hello, everyone. I was having an issue with my Shopify store the other day, and I finally figured out what was going on. The issue was that when I was connecting my Google, my Google app, my Google and YouTube app, exporting my products to the Google and YouTube app, it was giving me this error right here. It said limited performance due to missing identifiers, GTIN, MPN, brand. So it says add a brand in either GTIN or MPM and this product is one of a kind of vintage. You don't need to add an identifier. So what does this mean? I finally figured it out. Hopefully this helps you as it took me like way, way longer than it seemed it needed to be, but it's really, truly relatively simple. Okay, so let's do this. So the main thing you need to know when it comes to this error is your product custom made or is it not custom made? Okay. If your product you make it yourself and it is custom made, you will not have a barcode on it. GTIN and an MPN are kinds of barcodes. So if they say identifier values like GTIN or MPN, it just means barcodes. Usually you know the UPC barcode. That's a type of GTIN or MPN tag. So if your product is fully customized, it will not have a barcode on it. If you buy a product like your drop shipping and it's not fully customized, it's in this bin, it will have a barcode on it. So what the issue is, is if you submit your product and it isn't fully customized, it, ha it has a barcode on it. And you need to submit this GTIN or MPN on your, you know, your Google spreadsheet on your Google columns within the app where you see this error. You know what I mean, since you're watching this video. There's like a million columns. You, you don't have to fill every single one out, but you have to submit, if it's a non-custom item, your barcode value. And it means it's limited performance. I think mine said demoted performance, to be honest, because if it's not a custom product, other people are most likely selling that across the internet or across the world. And so Google will rank the product that has all its tags and its information higher than yours if you're missing this key information. Now, big thing to know about this is if your product is fully customized, you need to set that column to false. There's a column in your product listing with all your products and it says the error and it says where it's published when you're publishing your things to the Google and YouTube app via Shopify. There's a column that says unique product. And if this is set to false, you don't have to supply the barcode because there is none. Also, if you're having an issue with your brand, I learned that if you, I learned that this is automatically filled out as it just takes the information from the vendor entry box. So you know if you're on your product page in Shopify and then you have a little box over here and it says tags, collection stuff, and then there's vendor, you know, usually you just put your information in there. That's what the brand is. If you're getting an error about missing brand, you can fix that just by putting a vendor here and it'll fix that. But for the barcode, if it's a truly customized product you made yourself, it won't have a GTIN or MPM tag. It is not required if you set that to false. Is this a unique product or not? If you set it to this isn't a unique product over here, then you need to submit your GTIN or MPM tag, your barcode tag. Otherwise, it will be demoted in the search results. That's all that Google error message is leading to. And obviously it can have significant impacts, but it seems very complicated just the way these things are laid out. And there's a lot of links and a lot of information you need to go through. That's all I did when I got this error on my Shopify store. It took me, it seemed like, like I said, a lot longer than it needed to, to figure this out. And hopefully this quick little video will save you all the time and effort and get you back to doing your business instead of fiddling around with error messages. Okay, everything good? Fantastic, happy to help. Subscribe if you need more help and I'll see you in the next video.